lean it against a rock. Yeah. Put it under your pad. I wrap my knee with it at night sometimes. Um, what is it, it called? Out. I keep it handy so I can pull it out at lunchtime. What is it called? I don't know. It's like an Ensolite pad. Oh, I see. But it's, they used to sell it at Black Diamond. I don't know who, who sells it anymore. You mm. might be able to find it at a place like Gossamer Gear. One of those ultralight. What's the what's the number one trail that you recommend in Yosemite? Um, there's a lot of cool trails. Uh, let's see. The trails. I mean, there's a lot. That's a lot of fun. The um, you know one that's interesting. Is to you ever go gone down uh, Tuolumne Gorge? No. You start at Tuolumne Meadows and you go down the gorge almost to the where Hetch Hetchy is, and there's a trail you take out on the last day. Hetch Hetchy is like a kind of a boundary. It's a reservoir. Boundary of uh, Yosemite, like a north. It's kind of west. The, the the western. Yeah, yeah. Edge of, the, of it. Um. You know, there's a there's a a book called Roper's High Route. Roper's. Sierra, Sierra High Route. Roper's High Route. Okay. And in that, he describes a trail that follows the Muir Trail, but it's it's cross country. So it's above the Muir Trail. It's at about 10,000 to 11 to about 12. There's a bench area throughout the whole Sierra where you can just go cross country on open terrain. Uh, so basically, it's, it's not following the Muir Trail, but you get off the Muir Trail, go to the, you know, Goronite there's, there's, mountains. There's, mountain. there's a new book. I just met the author a couple weeks ago. He's calling it the Sierra Grand Traverse. It's going to be published by the Mountaineers uh, this month. And that one, um, it looks like it's going to be really good. I talked to the guy for quite a while uh, who wrote it. And what he does is he, he's done the roper route, the high route a few times, but then he found some new ways, sometimes just by following a deer. And I was like, where is he going? <laughs> sure enough, there was a, a different way to go that was even better than roper's route. But roper describes a route in northern Yosemite. The, the Muir Trail ends at Yosemite. He, he describes a route that goes from like Twin Lakes, to Matterhorn Peak, that's quite nice. There's a great loop that starts at Twin Lakes, which is the northern boundary of Yosemite, goes up, and it's called the Northern Yosemite Loop. And it goes to, uh, there's one big lake there that they call the Riviera of the Sierra. It's got a big beach at the end. Um, and it, it loops around and, and goes up. You can climb Matterhorn Peak at the end. And, um, and how long does it take, like the loop? It's uh seven days. Okay. Seven days. <laughs> you could do it. You could you could do it in five. I mean, I I take my time. I think I did it in six. Mm. Uh, a lot of people like to spend a day at this this one lake that's like a beach. It's got like a two hundred yard wide white sand beach. Uh huh. But you know the whole thing is, you really can't choose. Oh. Because you know, it has to, its own to, characteristics. Yeah, well, so. you have to go by smoke. Go you, by you smoke means. You can't plan a trip <laughs> and say, I'm going to go in the second week of June do uh -huh. this because you just, what you do is the first week of June, you start to look at the smoke maps. and then Oh, two, smoke means smoke. the fire. Yeah, and then two yeah, yeah, days yeah. before the trip, yeah. that's when you decide. If you yeah. have five days, okay, you look at the five-day trips or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's... it's the smoke is a disaster these days. So the the loop that you're doing right now in the Sequoia, are you, you doing because uh, you never done it before? Or? Um, yeah, I mean it's it's on my my checklist of trails I haven't done. I've done like I was showing you on the map. There's uh, there's basically four ways you can make this loop, and I've done it two of the ways. Mm. And by doing it the two ways, I've hit all four of the trails. Mm -hmm. Because there's, there's four ways of getting back and coming back. Mm -hmm. The the sleeping bag, the the minus fifty, is it the heavier or is it like a not necessarily heavier than the, you know, zero degree? Yeah, each bag is heavier, but ah, you know it's worth it if it's if it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I have, 
I have a bag that's a 32 degree bag, a zero bag, a minus 20 bag, a bunch of specialty bivy bags for mountaineering. Yeah. Um, you know, all kinds of bags. I probably I have a, a closet between my family and we probably have 15 different sleeping bags. So the padding that you have right now, is it the pretty, ins pretty insulating, pretty warm? The what? The jacket? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's thin. What, what's the brand? Um, this is Arc'teryx. Arc'teryx. Arc Arc so these, these guys make these pants. My brother was the rep for them. Um, I think the shirt is Arc'teryx. They make some really high quality gear. They made this pack. Arc'teryx. Yeah, I don't know if they still make packs anymore. I think they got out of the pack business. Mm. Um, that's a lot of water. Yeah. They're, uh, they're, they're probably the highest quality. Okay, in terms of uh, food, what usually like uh, you bring? Uh, usually I dry and make my own food. I have a garden and I grow a lot of <laughs> vegetables. So I'm really... <laughs> but on this trip, I decided to, just to try some of the dehydrated food uh-huh and so far i'm not very pleased with it at all oh the the commercial one yeah like a 12 bucks or something yeah it, it, <laughs> it teriyaki was, i mean i had one that was supposed to be really good i looked up online it, people, people were talking about this three cheese mac and cheese it was terrible i'd rather have craft mac and cheese any day oh junk. oh okay yeah okay i mean um, dried food is yeah it's just not yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, you bring coffee. You bring like a milk powder, or you bring like yeah, trails. I'm trail with milk powder on this trip. I used to think it was making me fart, but it's not. But I, the, what I'm doing is I'm I'm mixing the milk powder up the night before in mm -hmm. my cup, mm -hmm. and then I'm throwing in some dried fruit, mm -hmm. and then throwing in granola. Mm -hmm. And you know, I used to do oatmeal, mm -hmm. but I like this better. Oh, I, have to heat I the forgot. Stove. I forgot oatmeal. Wow. <laughs> yeah i mean oatmeal is pretty good especially i go with this this woman who's a chef and she makes oatmeal with steel cut oatmeal and all it's really good but i you know i like i get just some good granola from whole foods and or berkeley bowls where i get my granola actually yeah and, uh <laughs> i'm gonna drink this water really fast but just shove it in there since i have it Mm. Well, got a lot of information though. I got that would be really. I mean, it's kind of a high tech though, <laughs> high high level. Yeah. Well, when you're when you go climbing, you have this, plus you have a rope, and a rack, and a harness, and uh -huh. crampons, and an ice axe, and uh -huh. all this other junk. Uh -huh. So you really have to keep the weight of this stuff down. Because uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm a little guy. I mean, uh -huh. with a bad knee. What's your name? What's your name? And do you have a, like a Facebook or something, or do you do like a? I don't put anything on Facebook. <laughs> my name is Steve Kakamo, but I'm. I have. A, I will be publishing a book one, oh. of these, one of these days. But really, I don't have anything. You have a, like a, a work in progress or? Retire. I have. I have almost a million images I've I've shot over the years. Wow. Um, I have. 220,000 black and white. I have my own dark room and framing room. And, and I have uh, about 350,000 Kodachromes and Ektachromes, Stevachrome. And then I have half a million digital images, of which there's a few hundred that are as good as anything I've seen just by the circumstances. Like last night was getting pretty cool. But, um, you know, I'm going to whittle it down. And That book's going to be like a photo book? You know... Or know, like a story be... book, or like guidebook. I don't know yet. <laughs> there's so many things that I have unique subjects that I've been shooting mm. for years and mm. years. That it may have to be several books, but I'm not sure. Okay. You know, I'll I'll keep my eyes. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how to find the book though. I mean, no, just. <laughs> um. If you ever had any questions, you can email me at steve, S-T-E-V-E dot 
Kakamo, C A C C A M O at gmail dot com. Okay. Steve dot Kakamo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. <laughs>